she clearly is uh, not that interested. As, as she's shown us, and as um, one of our viewers said, perhaps she does have a headache, but that's definitely amber eyes of the Inkahuma pride, my favorite lioness. And for those who think that that isn't, um, that this might be blondy, you can see his mane isn't quite as blonde as it looked when it was being backlit. You see that? And you can also maybe see that he had that limp. And that limp is quite characteristic, I think, of that pom-pom uh, tailed or poorly pom-pommed uh, b-boy number three. What did we call him yesterday, Brian? What did we call him um, poor pom-pom or something like that? Scaffy pom-pom. Scaffy pom-pom, that's what it was. Skinny pom-pom, there we go. Thank you, Kirsten. I think skinny pom-pom rather than B-Boy 3 is a much, much better name. <laughs> Good afternoon. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Amber. Ah, oh, hello, Amber. My name is Skinny Pom Pom. <laughs> Inspirational. No wonder she's not keen on meeting. Now, ideally, of course, for the light and everything else, we want them to be lying precisely 180 degrees from the way that they are now. They get a wonderful picture of both of their faces in the shining sun. I'm not going to move from here, everybody, because we'll get between us and the vehicle behind us, at least in front of us. So let's just see what happens here. If uh, Amber and Skinny Pom Pom decide to <laughs> consummate their morning meeting, <laughs> and this wind is icy so although it looks like it's warm and sunny out here it is sunny but warm it ain't and where one to want to scarf the mane of skinny pom pom of course would be a fantastic way to keep your head warm. I think that's also why she's accepting him lying so close by. Normally they don't. And in typical cat-like fashion, do you see how she lifted her head? She's watching the leaves go past her and they've arrested her attention. Very nice. Oh, I should slide. 